I'm attorney Katherine Grigg. And I'm attorney Elizabeth Lanshammer. And today we're tackling five common questions about divorce. Question one, how much does it cost to hire a divorce lawyer? It is important to understand that no two divorces are alike. Cost of a divorce is not based on how wealthy you are. It depends on the complexity of issues and the disputes between the parties. An attorney will require a retainer, which is like a deposit to be paid before work can commence. It's always important to discuss budget when hiring an attorney. In addition to legal fees, there are other costs associated with divorce, including appraisals, business valuations, and retirement division, just to name a few. Question two, can both spouses use the same lawyer? If the lawyer is being hired in a neutral capacity, like as a mediator, then in that situation it is okay because the lawyer mediator will not be representing either spouse individually or advocating for their legal rights. But otherwise, no, it would be a conflict of interest for one lawyer to help both parties in a divorce. And that extends to other attorneys at the same law firm. It is not permissible for two attorneys at the same law firm to represent both spouses in a divorce. Question three. How long does it take to go through the divorce process? In every divorce, there is a required 120-day waiting period before the parties can complete the divorce process. However, this doesn't mean that your divorce will be completed during that time. The timeline depends on the complexity of your divorce proceedings. Most divorces take between 6 to 12 months, although some can take longer depending on the circumstances. Divorces involving disputes about custody or placement of the children take additional time as well and are rarely completed within 120 days. Question four, how will our assets be divided? All assets are considered divisible, meaning they have the potential to be divided somehow between the spouses, regardless of whose name the asset is titled in and regardless of whether either spouse owned that asset before the marriage. There are exceptions to this rule, like if there was a prenuptial agreement or if an asset was acquired through gifting or inheritance. But otherwise, everything else is considered a divisible asset and will be divided 50-50 unless there are compelling reasons not to. In those situations, a lawyer can be an effective advocate for what those reasons might be. Question five, how do I prepare for a divorce? First, Begin by compiling a list of all assets, debts, and accounts owned by you and your spouse, whether it's titled individually or jointly. Gather copies of financial and legal documents, including tax returns, retirement statements, bank account and credit card statements, as well as pay stubs. Lastly, preserve any communications between yourself and your spouse regarding disputed issues with the children, mismanagement of marital assets, and abuse or threats as those are more likely to be scrutinized. No two divorces are alike in terms of the cost, the process, or the outcome. Just because a divorce played out one way for your friends or neighbors does not mean that it's going to play out the same way for you. The laws are complicated, and how they are applied typically depends on the situation. Divorce can be very overwhelming in terms of navigating the laws, the paperwork, and the court system, as well as trying to balance those complex emotions and dynamics with your spouse. Attorneys can take a lot of the burden off of you and can help achieve the best outcome for you and your family. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're here to make the process as smooth and as painless as possible for our clients.